Like the Qin of ancient times, the rulers of the Sui dynasty pushed the people too hard, too fast. And it caused their downfall. The wise emperor, Gao Zhu, founder of the Tang dynasty, was a great man and shrewd leader. Now his son, Tai Zhong, a devoted student of calligraphy and painting, sits upon the throne in Chang'an. Being concerned about the welfare of his subjects, our sage emperor has lower taxes and limited burdensome public works projects. But Alida's genius is not limited to the political, as has been shown by his skill in pitting one barbarian tribe against another, and thence gaining firm control of the Tarim Basin. And it is to the Tarim Basin that you are being sent, as magistrate of the town of Nia. Located on the southern edge of the Taklamakan Desert, Nia was once a thriving hamlet along the old Silk Road, but fell into disrepair when Chinese influence in the region waned and was finally abandoned. Now, given our renewed lordship over the area, Emperor Taizong understandably wants the fallen bricks of the old town used to rebuild a new, stronger Nia. It is your good fortune that portions of the former inhabitants' irrigation system are still intact. This should help your farmers to coax more crops from the thirsty ground. Meanwhile, hunters can also track down elusive saiga antelope in order to put some tasty meat in your people's walks. Do not be surprised if the Tibetans are upset with our growing influence in the region. Given proper homage, Sun Wukong, the mischievous monkey king and the powerful Buddhist hero can now be summoned to aid your city. Yep, and you're gonna need Sun Wukong's help in this one. So hey guys, welcome back to um, Emperor. I was about to say Pharaoh there for some reason. Um, we are now in the Tang Dynasty of the the second part of the Sui Tang Dynasty's campaign. It looks like we've got to go to Nia and build basically a populous city. 2,100, 1,500 people in a luxurious apartment and some heroes. So not too difficult. Let's head to the city and pause. Uh, another desert mission. Uh, we've got some ruins and copper over there, so it's okay. A lot of water here, so we shouldn't have too much trouble. A lot of ruins, so it'll have to be cleared out. But it does, they did say that this has been an old irrigation system, so there's a lot more grassland to be found here. So we shouldn't have too much trouble making uh, food. It looks as if we've got iron ore deposits here. Unfortunately, there is no use for them. What a shame. Because there's quite a lot of iron here, but it looks as if we can't produce any iron at all, so that's a shame. We've got a bit of salt deposits around here, so that'll help. A little bit over here, I don't think we'll make use of that. Uh, so we've basically got just about the same amount of starting funds as we had in the Iron Show. Uh, let's have a look at the world map. We're down here at Nia, uh, so we're pretty far away and fairly southward as well. It looks as if Laza will probably get a bit pissed off with us. Uh, we've got our jade imports. Can we put carved jade? Yes, so we can also make paper as well, so that'll be um, useful. We'll be able to put down maybe hemp farms. Yes, yeah, so we've got one, two, three that we can grow out in the field. So I'm not really going to bother with hunting. I think I'll probably do cabbage, millet and wheat and salt. But in the beginning what I'll do is I'll just do millet and wheat with uh, some hunting and salt. And then I'll get rid of the hunting later once it becomes unreliable. Um, but there are quite a lot of invasions in this one. I think there's an early invasion. Uh, this is a Shed not so only important ancestor hero, which is good because we'll need him to bless hemp fields to improve production. Um, lots of space here, so I'm not going to be only concerned as long as I can make sure part of my housing block is on this grassy area, which will be fine. I'll be able to put down things like the well, the tax office and things like that. We do have elite housing here, so... Um, somewhere maybe just up here I'll put down some elite housing just to build some extra forts because we'll need the forts uh, because there's a lot of invasions. Uh, so since we've got carved jade paper, I'll just import jade from Kashgar and um, sell off um, carved jade and paper to various cities because I'm pretty sure some people will buy those things. Anyway, so I'll go and plan out this housing block and see how it turns out. So here's my housing block, got it all planned out. Um, the only problem is that this is kind of a tight space because there's a bit of rock here which kind of disrupts the feng shui a bit but it doesn't really matter. Um, I'll put down a lot more houses later uh, when we need them. Let's just open these to the required people. Now let's see if we can fit these in. Uh, so let's do one, two, three, one, two, three, like so. 
And if we just put down a millet field like so, that should be okay, I think. Just do that like so instead. Let me just do another field. One, two, three, like so. And this could be a wheat field. Like so. And we just kind of um, put a. I don't think I can get that in there. I'm not sure if that's connected to the, the system or not. We'll have to find out when these people come in. Right, let's just set this to accept millets and wheat only at the moment. We'll just drag this out like so. Um, might as well just stand um, the road so it goes like this. Uh, there's plenty of space, so I'm not really too bothered about it. Uh, we don't have woodcutters, no. I find it very irritating how there's so many trees around here, yet there's not any um, uh, woodcutters. So um, what I'm going to do is let the people come in, start to stabilise it. I'm only going to provide Buddhist taxes, I'm not going to bother with Deoist taxes because I think her, her Deoist hero is Zaljon and I'm not really bothered about him. I'm more interested in getting Sun Wukong in here because he's a lot more powerful for what we need. So I'll set up a bit of a salt industry up here with some forts as well, so I'll need to do that and find a place to put all that down. Uh, so I'll let this run, I'll come back in once all the people have come in. So the people are coming in, I've put down a lot more housing. Uh, I've also put down some trading posts up here for the two trade cities that we had. We had Kashgar, which was um, uh, open all the time in any case, and they're selling us for um, card, uh, Jade 95, that's okay. Uh, Chagai became an ally, as it always does. They sell us weapons, we're going to have to import some weapons, obviously, for that. Uh, I'll just put this out here somewhere. It doesn't really matter where this goes. Just to have it somewhere. And it doesn't need to be serviced by anything, so... We've got our farms going. Let's just set the agriculture up to high to kind of get that running. We get some food in here. The people are coming in now will stabilise most of these buildings as well, so it doesn't really matter. Uh, I'm going to try and get uh, Sun Wukong in here fairly early. I'm not sure. Uh, can we put the... Buddhist Pagoda on this. I can, that's okay. So if I need to summon him, I'll just kind of dump this um, here, almost. Just somewhere around this area here, and I'll be okay. Just summon him. <laughs> summon him. That just sounds weird. Um, since we can make paper, I'll obviously what I'll do is I'll have hemp down here for growing hemp for the city. Because uh, this one housing block will be enough. But what I'll also do is I'll have some hemp up here as well, and the hemp up here will be used to export paper. And I'll just be making paper directly to Chang'an and other cities, and that'll help the city overall. So just gonna wait for the harvests to come in really. And uh, since I've got the one fort down, that'll possibly prevent Laza invading. I very much doubt it, but we'll see. Um, hopefully these people will come in and sort it all out. I've left a space there because the house doesn't go all the way around, so I've left that space open for a Deus Temple later. Uh, so things are going well. Um, so let's just put down one hemp farm somewhere. Let's destroy some of these trees like so. Um, I realised that the, this does work when it's like this, so that's fine. I don't have to worry too much about that. Um, so let's put down a hemp farm. I'm going to roadblock we'll that there and have this going up here and we'll make some carved jade. Just here, one, two, three, like so. Three carved jade, that'll probably be enough. We don't have Ziwamu, um, so obviously we can't do anything about that. It's interesting that we've got Sun Tzu in this one, so uh, he's obviously because of the, the military aspect, but it's fairly interesting to note. Uh, let's see. Oh, I'm going to have to find a good place for this. This will get moved later, but it's okay. One, one, two, three, one, two, three, there we go. Just roadblock that there. Hemp, there we go. Put down this hemp field, like so. And if I need another hemp field, let's just make sure. That's not covered yet. If I need another one, I'll just drag the road out to this area here. This will all be for the city's use rather than for export. And we better put down a paper maker. Just one will do. Interesting, that's bad function for that, so we'll have to have that just there. And this will serve like the tax office and things like that. I've already got 500 people in the city, that is good. And so we're importing some weapons, importing some jade. We'll be able to sell off lots of carved jade to 
Chang'an. We also need to set up a paper industry up in this kind of area as well. Uh, so let's see. Um, the place to put down the elite house is going to be a bit difficult, but I'll just kind of dump it somewhere around here. I'm not really too fussed. It's just to expand our fort's capacity because we'll need them uh, later. Let's destroy some of these trees and start prepping for hemp. Um, so let's do one, two, three, four. Let's put it there. Now, does that fit? Uh, one tile, let's just destroy that. One second. Let's put it over by one tile like so. Um, I'm not too sure that works out well. Um, no festival at all because we don't have the food stuffs ready for it. Um, let's see. Let's just get rid of this and move it up a bit. That there. Just sort that out a bit. Let's put this out like this. I'm going to put down a hemp field just there that fits so I can have that there and have another one just in there and then I can just have loads going around this bit for even more of them if I really need it. I doubt I'll need too much but we'll better to be safe than sorry. Um, can we put paper makers on this? No, I've got to have it there. So one, two, three paper makers. I don't think, um, let's just put these here. This is going to accept uh, paper and that one's going to accept carved jade like so. And we'll start uh, making a lot out of that, that'll be helpful. Uh, not important the full amount, but that's okay. We do have to uh, go a long way, so what I'll do is I'll... Um, since it's going to be necessary, just put a bridge just there. Now we've got a mint, so I'll just kind of dump this over here since this is where all the copper ore is. I'll just put this here and just, um, you know, um, build out a bit of an industry up here. Look, I'm just going uh, to destroy some of that. Um, it's interesting that this is all in a raised area. I find that quite interesting. Let me just put that there and then put a... ...thing there. That'll do. And that'll provide us extra income just having that stuffed up there. I think it was a bit silly, but never mind. We're building up our fort and uh, making a bit of hemp. These aren't going to get irrigated. I'm, I might irrigate them later, but... Uh, I'm probably not going to irrigate these at all, I'll just um, keep it plain and simple. Can we put any irrigation ditch in, uh, pumps up here in any case? No, there's no space for them. There, there's not enough uh, white points. I could put it there, but that would be bad bank, uh, harmony. Uh, I would have to put them on this side instead if I wanted that. So I'll make some hemp, start making some paper and start getting our exports going. Uh, one, two, three, two, three. I'll make a lot more paper than is necessary just to simply um, boost the supply. Um, some of these might have to get irrigated at some point, um, but obviously not at the moment. Uh, it's just the fact that it's all quite crammed in, so this will all kind of sort itself out. It's fairly fertile in places in any case, so. Um, so we've got our houses evolving here, more people coming into the city which will help. Hemp's starting to grow out a bit. Once uh, these two start to get a bit on track then we'll be fine I think. Let's see, so let's put down one, two, so, let's put down two millet farms instead. Um, I'm going to put that out like this, and I'm going to have a road going up the centre bit here for another farm just up here. Like so, so I'll have another farm just in this space here. Just extend that road by one tile. Uh, I'm using this so that I can. Um, that's not irrigated, so let's just put an irrigation ditch all the way along this bottom bit, so that works. And there'll be a farm in there, and a farm up there. Um, I'll probably have a cabbage farm there, and a cabbage farm there, and I'll just have one wheat field. If I need an extra one, there's space over here, so I'm not too bothered by it. Losing money very rapidly here from ex um, importing weapons. We've got, how many is he taken? A hundred weapons, so we're not really making, this has got three, so that'll be... So that'll be free. So we only need to import one more set of weapons and then we'll be fine and then we don't need to import any more. At least for now anyway. Um, Shannon's a bit upset. Let's give him two carved jades and I'll keep him happy. Then I won't have to bother with the ancestors again. 
Uh, we better send us a diplomatic request because we're going to need uh, more trading partners at this rate. Uh, let's just send a few to Laza, Chongdu, and Liancho and see what they've got. I think. Um, let's um, try. Uh, da -da -da -da. Let's see. Let's try Guancho. And I'll just keep expanding that over time. So we're making some wheat here, plenty of it. Uh, the millet will start to grow, that'll help the city overall. Um, so I'll let this uh, run, and once the um, uh, the, f the mill's got two food types and the bees are looking for hemp, I'll come back in. Uh, so our trade agreements came back. Laza is already hostile at the moment, as you can see. Uh, Chongdu and Guancho have already opened trade. At least we don't have to import paper this time, which helps. Um, I'm probably going to just sell salt to Chongdu and um, can we put down lacquer makers? No, we can't, so we can't import lacquer, there's no point. Um, so, not really getting much military here, it's starting to come in. Oh, already caught a spy, that's pretty quick. Uh, let's go ahead, and that's, they've gone apathetic because we've caught the spy. Let's go ahead and gather information from Laza. I wonder where that spy was, but the Whoever it was was a very good person to catching spies. There goes that spy to help us. So I'll keep an eye out for spies while I wait for um, the millet to be harvested. And I'll also start up a bit of a salt making industry as well. Oh, Laz is launching an invasion. Okay, fine. Um, I might as well try to summon Song Wukong since we've got like, plenty of carved jade here. Um, I'm making a bit of salt as well to try and. Um, Obviously, improve food quality. Let's set this to go and get salt if there's any in stock, that is. Uh, let's just say we don't have any issues with spies at the moment, but they've gone apathetic presumably because of the fact that um, we have um, caught, caught their spy but they're already um, pissed off with us anyway. So our task collector started to work now, we've got some paper being made. Not enough hemp is going to be made by this to, to satisfy this thing here. Um, so we might need a second hemp farm just over here. Um, so one, two, three. Let's see. One, two, three, one, two, three. It won't be a very big one, but we'll have an extra farm just going here, I think. Let's see, can that fill it up? Yep, it does, so that's good. So get some extra hemp being made. We're making absolutely no money at all at this point. Uh, I'm going to just put this uh, going down here instead. Destroy that section of road. Oh, got a spy. Aye. Catch him. So the spy is still around in the city. We've only um, reversed one, but they've still got a spy in here. Not too good, but never mind. So we've got an invasion coming up shortly. Um, I'll see if I can try and get Song Wukong in here and see if he can do anything to help the city. We'll start exporting card jade when we have passed this invasion, I think. Because uh, there's no point doing it right now. So let's just slap this down here for now. And we'll summon Sun. Um, Sun. No. Soon, I think is what it said. I can't remember offhand, but it doesn't matter. So we'll try to summon Sun Wukong, and I'll come back in when we're near the invasion. Oh, here's another spy now. I want to find out where they're going. Um, the invasion's just about to come in a couple of months. Um, I've also sent off some stuff to Sun um, Wukong. He's exalted. He should invade. Um, he should appear, sorry. Shortly, I put down a second um, wheat field. This won't really give us very much, but who cares? Right, where are they going? Um, I don't know where they're going, but anyway, one month until Piggy appears. And here's the Monkey King. Uh, let's see, where is he? Well, he actually looks quite nice, I have to say, but he's really, really powerful. We'll get him into wherever it is that they're going, but let's see. Oh, he's going after this one of these paper makers. Okay, fine. Okay. We find out what they're looking for, so that's okay. We'll make some more paper, obviously, off of this, but this is just for the city. Um, they've lost access to an ancestral shrine, which is not going around often enough, but that's that's a bit of a problem then. Let's just lower this to a better level, try and spawn this a bit more. So this will start to stabilise again. Um, where's some Wukong we'll come here? So he's exalted, that's fine. So we've got um, this making a bit of extra profit for us. Uh, where are we? Where did they come from? Oh, they come from the south in a bit here. Oh, a military build up at Laza. Uh, I'll read that in a minute. Come here. Uh, come here, Sun Wukong. Oh, this is a really big invasion. I might need to put down some towers, so it won't help very much, will it? 
Come on, get in there. What's he doing? Why is he kneeling? Come on, get in there. Get closer. Don't walk off. Don't walk off. Okay. Just attack. Help. Please. Son, could you just do something, please? Yeah, he's fighting. Come on, there. Die. Whoa, they're dying pretty quickly, I have to say. Go after them all, son. We've lost a couple of troops, it's not too good. Where are they going anyway? That's what I would like to know. Son's just kind of going along here, just kind of killing them. Let's, oh, he's killed one, that's pretty good. Uh, what did this say? Uh, troubling news will rise to this noble super surgeon. Try to solve the of Laza's strength in their military. No one knows what he's planning, but we should remain vigilant. Yes. Right, where the hell are you going? Can you just stop, please? Because I, I find this amusing because all Sun Wukong is doing right now is just basically killing them off one by one, which I find a little amusing, but I don't actually know what they're going after here. Um, military. We're just kind of going at this steady pace where no one seems to gain anything. Where, where are they going? Oh, well, they're going into the city. Why, why are you coming into the city? Right, come on, get in there. Right, what are you going after? And I finally decided to turn around and attack. Okay. Uh, so they're gav we're gathering information if uh, Lars, in any case, it's okay. Uh, making plenty of carved jade. Not enough paper is getting made, obviously, because we're not making enough. Someone must have stolen some, because that was a lot higher than that earlier. Let's just check. Are they dying? Twelve. Where's Sun Wukong? Um, oh, he's in there somewhere, killing them off, but that's helpful. Die. Ah, there we go. They're dead. Let's send them back. Uh, where is Sun? Oh, there he is. He's just kind of... I could see him because he blended in so well with the background. Okay, fine. So we've gone through one um, invasion. That's okay. We're making a lot of carved jade. I'm not going to have Sun Wukong much longer in the city because I think that's the only scripted invasion or something. I can't remember. So we'll send the troops back. Um, what else does he do, actually? No, none of them would impress me the most. Um, I'm just having a look at what Sun Wukong does. Oh yeah, um, Sun Wukong um, reduces the cost of emissaries that you set to zero, uh, so they cost absolutely nothing. So you can send them all off and it costs zero, and they reach um, the city faster as a result. So what I'm going to do is with Sun Wukong here, I'm just going to send a, a diplomatic request to everyone. Uh, just to find out what everyone wants, because they'll reach it very quickly. Uh, um, cost zero, because we've lost nothing. That's actually quite good. So, here goes another spy. But he's not a problem. I'll just leave some will come to just kind of disappear by himself. Um, so, I'll let this run. I'll come back in once we've got. Because um, <coughs> we'll leave troops. Um, obviously. Let's do this to four again. So, we'll start with putting more weapons to build up this fort. And we'll start exporting loads of carved jade because we're going to need to do that. We'll also have to um, export paper at some point as well. So I'll let this run. I'll come back here once this is stabilised with hemp. Once we've got some extra hemp in stock. So our hemp supply is just about to come in. We've got plenty of food in this city. I'm having a bit of a labourer shortage. So I've turned off one of my uh, wheat fields because we've got enough to get us up to um, the next level. So that's okay. i still got a bit of an issue with spies in the city. I'll probably try to summon... Um, Sun Tzu at some point when I put decibel the houses to build up our military. And um, we're selling a lot of um, carved jade at the moment. Um, we've sold all we can, I think. I think the next amount is just about to come in, and that'll be that. Um, still got the spy issues, I've said. Hemp's coming in. Um, so that'll sort itself out, which is what we want. We'll make some more paper, obviously, and we'll start selling paper once we get more than this into the city. Because this is all just going to go straight to exports for no other purpose. Um, so the hemp's come in, we're getting a bit of a supply here, this is all going to go straight into it. Uh, so let's just put down a hemp shop and start boosting these houses a bit more. Uh, considering that our only Daoist hero is Zaljun, and he's useless, I'm just not going to bother providing Daoist access at all. 
of any sort, so I'm just going to put a house there instead, because I don't really need to um, any more. Let's put down some more stacks just to kind of use desirability in this area. Every little bit helps, I suppose. The other part is some of the spies are coming from up here as well, so it doesn't really help, does it? Uh, let's stop selling carved jade. We don't really need to sell anymore. We've made a bunch of it, and we've sold all of it. Um, once these guys from Chang'an pass, then I'll just um, export paper. Oh, he's gone. He's stolen the hemp. Fuck! They're going after all sorts of things now. That's not helpful. I just lost a bunch of hemp thanks to that spy, and I didn't notice until the last minute. So I'm going to have to try and get a watchtower actually down here. Where is it? Um, let's put it there. Because um, over here, what I'm going to have is the acrobat school for later, because we'll need to provide these guys with acrobats. Um, not all the houses have evolved because we've run out of hemp. Which is a shame, but never mind. Uh, so we're making a bunch of paper, that helps. Once all of this is run out, I will then uh, export it. But I'll keep an eye on the city, obviously, until... Uh, let's just sort these out a bit. Uh, we need to import maybe just one more weapon and that'll be it. But yeah, we do have an issue with spies in this city, so not too good. So these houses will start to evolve when they start getting access to hemp, which is good. Just gonna watch out for spies, as I've said, that's the only problem. Um, so, making a bit of carved jade, that's gonna help the city in the long run, obviously. We're gonna have a lot more people coming in, 700 more people can enter the city, which is good. I'll just look around and see if there's any spies. I don't think there is, but I think we're running out of hemp here because we're not really making it enough, which is a shame. Uh, so our houses have evolved, that's good. Uh, we need to provide them with appetizing food, which will come in shortly, uh, which will help the city overall. And this paper here is just really for nothing more than the city's use. Uh, so no hemp at the moment. Um, I might put an extra hemp field just over here or something and connect it up to the rest of the city like so. I just have like lots of hemp being made just to kind of overproduce it for this bit because there's not enough being produced. Oh, here's another spy. I saw him. There we go. He's going after various different buildings at the moment, so it's a bit erratic. Anyway, I'm going to leave it there for this video. In the next video, we'll start to expand on our various salt in weapons industries. I don't think we can put down a palace, no. Uh, we're still making some extra profit off of this mint, which helps. And so in the next video, we'll continue to uh, build Nia and they expect less. Fine. Population milestone of a thousand, that's quite good. Anyway, in the next video, we'll continue to build Nia. Thanks for watching. See you in the next video, guys. Bye now.